I love dim sum. Okay, the standard is. Wow, I feel like eating dim sum here. Oh, and the lotus rice thing. Hey. What? Your fork ah. I keep talking about siu mai, hakao. Then what? I want to eat dim sum. I'm hungry. Let's go ah. Let's go eat. Welcome to another episode of Ibu Vlogs. I'm Alison. I'm Rainer, and in this episode, we are going to this place called Kwai San Tian Sin. Yes. That, right? <laughs> yes, Kwai San Tian Sin. So it means a uh, one thirty dim sum. So what's special about this place, right? Every dish is only a dollar thirty cents, and there's no GST and no service charge. So we'll see you there. Kwai San Tian Sin. <laughs> So right now we're at Kwai San Tian Sing and for those of you who don't speak Mandarin, it means one dollar thirty cents. So we ordered about fourteen dishes. So that totals to about eighteen dollars. So cheap! Oh my yeah. god! This place right is open twenty four seven, and there's no GST, no service charge. So I think it's quite a steal, honestly. Mm. There's actually other two other outlets they have. One is in Jurong West as well as Woodlands. So sorry, is this? If you're like me, at least you got Sui Chun, okay? So aside from the cheap prices, mm. they also have like a wide variety. Exactly 32 dishes ranging from Siu Mai, Hakao, all your typical dim sum. Basically like 7-Eleven, yeah. but dim sum. Your yeah. dim sum convenience store right here. <laughs> yeah, alright. Every time I go to a dim sum place, I always judge a place based on the Hakao and Siu Mai. Because that is the most basic like dim sum dish. So shall we? Yes. Okay, this is the hakao. It comes in three. Mm. There's like a substantial amount of like prawn meat in this. It's like one prawn. Eh? I would say the skin is a bit too thick for my liking, but it's still not too bad. But I was pleasantly surprised about the whole hakao itself because from the outside it looks like it was dry. But when you bite into it, right, there's this like slight moisture that comes out. Moving on, siu mai. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what do you look for in like your siu mai? I want it to be juicy, not dry. It shouldn't taste like it came out from the fridge, then you yeah. steam out that kind. Honestly, the meat is a bit starchy, I feel. You can't really get the texture of the meat, so it's really pasty. I would say the redeeming quality of this right is the skin. The skin is quite mm. like moist and the skin is actually silkier than the, the hakao that we just tried. For the minced meat texture itself, maybe a personal preference, I kind of like this. It's not too minced. There is like a little bit of chunks here and there, mm. which I, I like uh, for mouthfeel. Can I just say I'm loving this milk tea oh. chinchow? <laughs> okay, so someone recommended us to try this taping with chinchow. Yeah. Have you tried before? It's damn good. It's damn good. Very refreshing. Those quench. I feel like eating the porridge. This porridge is the century egg porridge. So it's pork porridge with century egg, spring onion, and fried scallion. Wow. I would totes eat this for breakfast or like supper. Comparing it to the ones I've tried with Crystal Jade, it's not as silky smooth. You can actually see and you can actually taste the rice bits. Rice not bad. Taste wise, it's legit. I really like the fact that they added like the fried onions and the spring onions because it really brings out the flavour of the porridge. It tastes very homely. Wow, pretty good. My favourite dishes to order at Tim Sum places right, is the steamed pork ribs with black bean sauce. And my favourite one right is the chicken feet where some people they call Felix Talons. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try this by ourselves because she don't like toast basically. And this is essentially chicken toast. <laughs> oh, oh. Keep your toes away from me. It's like doing this. Yeah, it's the twist. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I think this is better than Suchun. <laughs> it may be the piece I picked, right? But it has like very little fat and a lot of meat. I think the flavour is there. It's very flavourful. Oh, good job. I'm gonna eat the chicken free. Smell the toast! Oh, stop! <laughs> this is slightly tougher compared to other dim sum places. So the sauce itself, right, is also quite different from the rest of the chicken feet I've tried. My only gripe with this is the fact that like the skin doesn't peel off the bone as well as the chicken feet I've tried. I guess you have to pay more for quality. Yeah. Let's eat our favourite dim sum dish. It is the... Fried bean curd skin roll. Yeah. Oh, it's not corn. Oh, it means meat. I would be lying if I say that I wasn't disappointed. It's a little bit too soft and everything. But on itself, I think it's, it's not too bad. It's a bit like Nyo Hyang. Mm. I would say the meat texture is very similar to the siu mai one. Mm. 
I recommend to eat with chili sauce. This right. is the fried prawn dumpling. It's basically prawns with a little bit of Chinese wrap in the wonton skin and deep fried. Oh. That was the prawn that was missing from before. Wow, the wonton skin is like fried to perfection. You know the fish meat right, it's very juicy, very bouncy. Then they still put carrots and like mm. spring onion and chives inside. And I really like the feeling because it's very chewy. I love it when it's like chewy fish meat. Okay, chives mine. It's very different from the siu mai one because this one has like huge chunks of meat and prawn. If you eat the chu kui right, it tastes like ku chai kui oh, but with meat. This is what the siu mai tried to be. You bite in, got the juice. Yeah. The zap. Wow, shit. But if you don't like vegetables right, you, you will hate this. AKA siu Asia Chris. Okay, moving on to the oh my kai. The mushroom nice. It was the only mushroom. I would say that the portion itself for 130 is quite big. To me, it's like uh, just a little bit one up of a uh, pre-packaged lo mai kai. Mm. Cause I would say the rice is not bad. It's just that the meat is very dry. I think the rice tastes like your typical mm. like glutinous rice, mm. and I don't think the tasu sauce was well integrated into the rice. But I would say it's still quite okay lah. Like mm. sweet and salty. Uh. Okay, so this is the custard tau. Inside look like it has corn. This tastes like very dessert kind of dim sum. It's not that sweet either. It's a custard pao for those non-sweet tooth people. It's great in itself, but there's this something lacking. Like they have to eat our cha siu pao. It doesn't scream cha siu, though. but I, I feel like it's just a random minced meat pao. Oh, okay lah. I, I eat the meat then got this. The sweetness very mellow. So I don't feel like eating cha siu pao. I feel like I'm just eating pork bun. Chi chong fan. Yes. I love this chi chung pan. There's actually two versions, right? Which yeah. one you prefer? The traditional one or the Hong Kong style? I like the Hong Kong style, the one where you pour soya sauce on top. Yes. See this long ass prawn. <laughs> so it's served with also fried onions and spring onions. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's not too thick, not too thin. I think it's very silky. The sauce itself, right, is salty, but because of the fried onions, there's a slight taste of sweetness as well. Last two. I'm still not full. This is the fried yam balls. Okay, so this is the inside. You can see there are like chunks of yam. Yeah, the inside a bit lackluster. Lah. But like the skin though, the skin like flaky flaky. Right? Honestly, it's a bit too dry for me. The yam taste doesn't stand out much. The redeeming quality is the skin. Like they try to deep fry it with like all the, the flaky flaky stuff. Yeah, which got is effort. Oh, it's got effort. Carrot no, cake. Quite dry. Carrot cake. So it comes with two humongous pieces, I would say. It's a very thick kind. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. The texture is quite silky and it's actually quite moist. And also it's quite crispy. It's very flavorful, I would mm. say. It's the balance between the soft silkiness inside and the very crispy, fried outer layer of it. We are done eating. Okay, not really. We still have to order <laughs> the 10 prawn dumplings and finish up all the food. I would say that this place is pretty decent. My favourite would be the century egg pork porridge as well as... Eh? Oh, we ate it already. It's the chives mai. <laughs> My ultimate favourite right, is the fried <gasps> prawn dumplings. Oh. For one dollar thirty cents, this like really can like fight some places. Take my money, man. I think the overall ambience of this place is your typical kopi tiam. I must say that the storefront is actually quite aesthetic. Like they got the LED lights. Right? Yeah, like 1.30. Wow, you can't miss it. It's like you walk past right, you wouldn't even like, yeah. where's the store? Ah? Don't forget that it's 24-7. Any time of the day, you can come by here. It's really worth your $1.36. Thank you for watching another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this video, watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.